How's it going, everybody? Rob Ray here today, and we are back with our Hut 23 No Money Spent Road to Glory, The Road to Bread, episode number 20, and it is a live rewards episode. Got the controller. You guys can see I got the stream set up right now. We're not live, but um, hopefully you guys can see with the lighting and everything, I, I made some adjustments um, behind me, too, so it looks kind of cool, and hopefully it gives us that little bit of luck we need, you know, to... To maybe pull. I mean, I, I can't really talk about luck here. Um, I, if you guys missed the last one, yeah, he's staring us right in the face at the front of my um, grinded out team. There he is, X Factor McDavid. I've been playing with him in only, um, only, uh, only squad battle so far. Um, four goals though, two assists. His card is honestly this. It's this thing is next level. Uh, we'll have both of these active as well with the 97 passing and puck control. And oh, by the way. He's going to get upgrades. He's probably going to get team of the year. It's going to be a, a a very, very good time for the rest of the year. So I can't really complain about rewards, but we are going to jump in and check our hot champs rewards. Uh, check out how we did. Obviously, I didn't uh, get to play a a as much as I would like. Oh, wait, uh, this uh, is that this season. Oh, it is currently live, isn't it? Completed seasons. Here we go. Season complete results available. View results. There we go. I'm still getting there. And we went four, five and one. Um, 11, 20. I mean, we obviously had better seasons in the past, but it is what it is. Finishing rank was 32, 38. First weekend of cross play. Um, and it went okay. It wasn't that great. Everybody, <laughs> I love it. I was online today and people are talking about, um, PlayStation players are the worst says Xbox player and Xbox player says PlayStation. Every, everybody's just bad apparently. Um, but hopefully we will be able to qualify for next weekend's. Actually, I don't know if we'll all have time next weekend to play. Hot champs this weekend, so we'll probably get a lot of rivals in. The rivals this week right now is, is burst. It looks like oh, classic five v five, not fun, not what we want to see. Um, but we do have our two hot champs collectibles, which will give us a total of four, which means we can open up an ultimate pack and hopefully get um, something good. And then after that, guys, stay tuned. We are going to be um, putting in our fifty collectibles to do our season X factor, and then. Well, maybe I'll leave it and then re-roll it before the next episode, but um, maybe, maybe not. But here we go. Let's go into our sets, go into the Hut Champ sets, and get ourselves started here. I already did my re-roll. No super-duper re-roll today. Um, unfortunately, I mean, I've had two, right? That's about all I can ask for is to get a Shishtirkin and a McDavid X Factor. That's crazy. Not even base McDavid. Anyway, we are going to go ahead and do the ultimate pack here. So we'll search our collection. You'll see we have four of our hut champs uh collectibles so there we go we are going to get ourselves an ultimate pack and hopefully pack something that helps us uh round out the team a bit i feel like we're really close i still have the hundred and twenty thousand coins so obviously that could um you know change what we end up going with going forward um but i really like the team i feel like i want a couple more elite defenders uh and then maybe one more elite forward to pair with uh mcdavid uh, we obviously have Zabenege. We can upgrade him. The Brinkett's not bad. Uh, Stammer's probably going to get upgraded soon, so we can go with him. I just don't know if he's going to be worth upgrading. But here we go. 20 items, all 80 overall packs. Yes, I could have waited for the Ultimate Choice pack, but no, I don't like waiting. So here we go. Ultimate pack, 20 items, all 80 pluses. And the first one is going to be a primetime Jackson Berezowski, which is going to help me grind out for that Tevu Teravainen. Our next one is Pavel Fransuz. Uh, next is Keandre Miller. I feel like I get him every week. Uh, Grace Zumwinkle is the next player. 83, so that's our best pull so far. Actually, looks like a pretty decent card. 5'9", uh, power forward with big rig and applesauce. 89 speed, 88 wrist shot accuracy. The agility is a little poor. Uh, puck control is good, though. This isn't a bad card. Not a, not a terrible card. Looks like a decent budget card. Uh, next, we got Blair Turnbull, who I already have bought before, and I actually really, really liked it. Um, James Van Riemsdyk, that's fine. We got a Nick Letty, uh, Riley Smith. Are we going to get anything above an 83 here? Come on, we got to pull something above an 83. William Nylander looks like a pretty good, I mean, that's a good base card, right? The solid budget squad card. Brandon Saab, but we're not on a budget, well, we're kind of on a budget squad, but not anymore. There's Sebastian Ajo. We already have him. Uh, Ricard Raquel, Drew Doughty. So that could be somebody that slots into the lineup. Not a bad right-handed defenseman, but send it. I don't know if I want send it on a defenseman. Um, definitely not worth it in my opinion, but the 86 speed, good defense. His checking's okay. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Um, we get a Lucas Raymond, which is somehow not yellow. Um, 
Not sure. Uh, but we've come back with a yellow Colt. Huh? Um, I'm not sure why he's not yellow, but we got Tony D'Angelo, Tyler DeFoley, and last but not least is uh, Caroline Harvey. So, uh, five foot eight defender here with good, a really good skater to be honest. Good hands. Uh, defense is okay, but that was not a very exciting um, ultimate pack. Wow, that's a lot of fodder. Really, 283s, I think, was our best. Um, Drew Doughty's not bad at all. Um, it, it, it Maybe you'll play a factor into our X-Factor Choice pack. Um, but here we go. We'll just complete that. And then we got a milestone here. Complete sets. A gold jersey choice pack. Oh, boy. I think it is time to change up the jerseys, though, too. Um, but we will go to our exchange here. Go to our sets. And then go to our season rewards sets. X Factor player choice pack autofill from collection. There's 50 out of 50. X Factor player choice. Let's complete it. We can always re roll this if it's not a good pull. Um, we can get rid of Kachuk. We can get rid of uh, Coin Showfield and this player uh, if it's potentially not a good one, but we'll see. Does the luck continue? Let's first open up the gold jersey choice pack. I know you guys are gonna just you, you're hating. I'm 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 teasing. I I'm I'm just dangling the carrot out there in front of you guys. There's some nice jerseys here. Uh, I think I gotta take the Canucks reverse retro. I absolutely love that. There's also the mustard cat, the Detroit classic jerseys. But I want to go with the modern jerseys. They always look better. The classic jerseys never really look good in Shell, in my opinion. Um, but there they are, the Vancouver Canucks dark jersey. Uh, they're reverse retro 2.0, but here we go. One of three X Factor player choice pack. Let's do it. Who are we going to get out of this one? Our first of three X Factor players is Dylan Larkin. I have a chance at redemption. You guys flame me for taking Kachuk over Larkin, and we could redeem ourselves and take Larkin here. The next player, though, is going to be a Leon Dreisaitl. Okay. A Neon Leon. I could pair him with Connor McDavid, and we could end up having the Edmonton Oilers top two players on the team. There is still one more guy sitting here. Who's it going to be? It is going to be an Adam Fox. And, ooh, this is interesting. Oh, man, Dylan Larkin. Uh, let's see. He can get up to right now. He can get up to an 87, 92 speed. His hands are slick. Uh, he gets gold wheels. We can get all the wheels. Uh, Leon Dreisaitl right now gets up to an 89. Only 88 speed, though. That kind of hurts. The shot, the hands, they're insane. And then there's Adam Fox here. Get ourselves a defender. I mean, he's, he's great, right? He might even be team of the year, but uh, oh, man, guys. Um, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be right back. I got, I got to take a time, take some time, process this one. I don't want to screw it up. And guys, I have decided that I am going to atone for my mistake earlier by taking Kachuk over Larkin. Uh, really, I think it was between Larkin and Fox for me. Leon Dreisaitl, I mean, you have to spend so many... 90k, I mean, obviously his base card's less than that now, but you got to spend so many coins just to get him to 88 speed. Yes, the shot is great. The hands are great. Tape tapes, and I, I got rid of it, right? Big Rig, Unstoppable, right? It, they're all fine and dandy, uh, but he's probably the bottom tier for, uh, out of these three for me. Next up was going to be Adam Fox. Um, getting him up at, to at least base Adam Fox. I mean, he looks insane. Uh, his checking is is okay. We don't really need checking this year. It's not the greatest. His hands, his skating, it's it, it's all phenomenal for Adam Fox. Um, but I'm done prioritizing defensemen over good cards. I'm going to just take the best cards possible. Probably should have taken Phil Housley over Rob Blake all those weeks ago. Um, this Adam Fox looks phenomenal. But this Dylan Larkin card, guys, you take a look at him. You get him up to his base, which is not going to cost you much, right? You got 500 coins, 1750, 6500, uh, 40k or base Dylan Larkin, which has got to be way less than that. We can then probably get him up to 86 with the coins, maybe even 87 with the coins. And that card, you know, it'd be it, it's probably worth it to get him up to the 87 to get him into that 90 puck control, have 91 defensive awareness. Uh, even with applesauce, then you'd have 92 passing, 87 wrist shot accuracy because we have applesauce active. 
man, it looks like just such, such, such a good card. Elite Edges and Wheels. Don't necessarily need to let Elite Edges. We can have him and McDavid on the top line with Wheels. This could be a great, great player for us. Um, and we'll have to see how much have I been missing out on. I almost bought his card earlier today for like 26,000 coins. So he's definitely going to be very cheap to upgrade at least to his base player. So we are going to take Dylan Larkin out of our X Factor pack. And I have officially, well, maybe you guys can let me know. Have I officially atoned? Um, for my sins and the mistake I made so, so early here um, in not taking Dylan Larkin over Kachuk. To be honest, that one was even more clear. Getting Leon Dreisaitl could have been cool. Adam Fox is another fantastic, uh, fantastic player. But I feel, I feel like Dylan Larkin is just a card that's going to be a game changer up there with McDavid. So we'll take a look at my collection right now. Take a look at my X Factor players. Um, and here they are. You can see McDavid, Huberto, Kachuk, Pasta, Coin, Schofield, and Stammer. Uh, it may be worth it to re-roll Huberto, Kachuk, and Coin, Schofield. I like this Huberto card. It does have an upgrade there for 50k. Still doesn't get him up to 90 speed. His shot is phenomenal. His hands are dirty. Like, it's a good card, right? Uh, and, and the same thing, like, Coin, Schofield, we could uh, essentially get her up to an 87 um 94 speed with gold wheels could be insane she would also get spark and applesauce her balance is great her agility is great she just happens to be five foot five the shot's okay she's never gonna snipe but you're gonna get in tight with her anyway so um you're never gonna have to worry about that it's another card that we could upgrade kachuk i can always downgrade he's got an upgrade right now it gets him to 86 speed why did i choose this card but we'd get um if i hit refund tier we can probably uh, oh, we can just, oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's an absolute steal. 32 and a half thousand coins. What? I can just buy Matthew Kuchuk's and flip them into 32. And, can you, can you actually do that? Because base Matthew Kuchuk is only, no, there's no way, right? That I could just cheese it. Um, uh, it's probably based on whatever you submitted, right? If I choose refund and get back 32 and a half thousand coins, it'll probably say you submitted it with Kachuk. I hope. Otherwise, that's an easy, easy method to just rack up coins by 10k kachucks off the market and flip them for 32 and a half thousand by putting them into his x factor here it's an option I'll, I'll i'll try it out for sure but uh definitely think that uh, kachuk coin Showfield, right we we've got good players but we'll see but we got to go to that dylan larkin card um those are all the x factor players i have but uh let's go ahead and upgrade dylan larkin right now 500 coins um, and, and I'm sure people are, are ripping packs right now. They're opening their rewards. So he's, his price is going to go way down. There we go. We started this with 120,000. We're now down to 118,000 purchased that tier. Uh, and then we have to go find a base Dylan Larkin on the market, gets him up to 91 speed. Good Lord. And he'd have wheels as well, unlocking the synergy and superstar ability. Um, and I think maybe until he gets another superstar ability, I don't know. Uh, getting 90 agility would be really sick, uh, but we'll go look for an 84 overall Dylan Larkin on the market real quick. I'll probably scoop him up. He's probably nothing more than 12K if I had to guess. Um, that's my assumption based on the market on Xbox Series X. Um, all the markets are separate, even though we can play each other. That just makes no sense to me. And that's one of the reasons, Shell, uh, Hut has always been so hard for me to get into. Uh, because I just feel like the game dies with the market uh, so, so quickly um, because just there's only one market and, and, and all that. So uh, let's go to position. We want centerman. Uh, there we go. And oh, my God, he's not even 7000 coins. Um, there is a Dylan Larkin on the market for six point nine five thousand coins. We will buy that now and be still still sitting on a hundred and five. Oh, that item expired. Let's buy him for seventy five hundred then. Uh, looks like somebody else might have pulled that one. Okay, so we'll just buy now 7,500. That's a bit unfortunate. Here I am talking and purchase successful. So there we go. <laughs> Send to my collection there. Um, and then let's upgrade our Dylan Larkin card even more to his base. Fully powered up X Factor. Not fully, fully powered up, but like base X Factor powered up. Um, and it just uh, with a special card. I got so many special card arts. This is this is sick. Um, I absolutely these card arts this year are phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And there we go. Speaking of phenomenal, we have officially unlocked Elite Edges and Fly the Zone, as well as we have Applesauce and Wheels still. So 
That's what our Dylan Larkin card looks like right now. Maybe we downgrade Jonathan Huberto. Maybe we downgrade Kachuk and downgrade Coin Schofield. Reroll those three and see what we get. Pasta also has a bunch of upgrades I keep forgetting about. It would cost 140,000 coins. So we wouldn't have enough there. Uh, we could get him up here. I kind of like him at his base, right? Right as it is, right? I, this doesn't feel like a worthwhile upgrade. Uh, puck on a string maybe is worth it. But again, um, I, I really like where he's at right now. I don't see the, the need to upgrade him more than where he is. Um, so Pasta could be one of those guys we downgrade, upgrade, who knows? Um, Stammer, obviously, we'll keep him waiting. We'll see what the card looks like after he gets his milestone. Uh, Huberto is a guy that I know we've had him since the beginning, uh, but we could end up re-rolling him. The upgrade there, I don't know. It's going to take so many coins to get him to be an end game card. Only 89 speed. His skating is great and well, well balanced and everything, but, you know, obviously, you've got to go with speed, and obviously, this guy is the poster child for it, 95 speed, but now we have somebody... Uh, that can also be on the first line with him and just absolutely just fly down the wing for him. So actually, can Larkin take faceoffs better? He's got 80 faceoffs. McDavid has 84 faceoffs. So McDavid will probably be my centerman with Larkin on the right wing and then um, Zabenejad on the left wing. And then we bump Debrinkat down, maybe? I don't know. Definitely going to need your guys' thoughts uh, down in the comments section. Uh, we could wait and keep a hold of Kachuk. The card, like I said, just keeps scoring goals for me. Uh, I'm not going to power him up one more. It's just literally not worth it. The cards high 80s, which is great and well-rounded, but you're just going to need more than that um, for me. So that is that. We'll reset the lines before the next one. We play some rivals uh, this weekend since we won't be playing champs because I do not have enough points for champs um, since I've not been playing uh, just enough online. So um, there we go, guys. That is the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this rewards one. We got a pretty good pull there in Dylan Larkin. Uh, one of the higher tier X Factor cards, in my opinion. Um, after looking back on it, I probably should have taken him a long time ago and we wouldn't be in this situation. We would have had Adam Fox, but I digress. It's a good pull. I'm happy with it. I hope you guys are too. Again, down in the comment section, let me know what your thoughts are on potentially re-rolling three of our X-Factors because it's going to be very expensive to carry this many X-Factors throughout the year, right? We want to probably prioritize McDavid, obviously, Larkin, and then maybe Stammer. Uh, Pasta's on the fence for me. Um, but then Coin Showfield, we could upgrade her. Maybe not. Maybe can. Maybe not. You guys let me know. But downgrade Kachuk, downgrade Huberto, and downgrade Coil, Coin Showfield, excuse me. Re-roll them and see what we get. Could be a move, could not be, could be good content. You guys let me know what you want to see. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And I will see you guys in the next one. It's a free for all.